You know this is hunter harassment? This is hunter harassment? Yeah. Good for you! Bring it to court, mother <laughs> They'll take everything you got, <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today is the day we finally found the big news. Um, and that is our North Dakota hunting trip uh, that happened and basically everything that went down. So we're gonna get right into it. I know everyone's been patiently waiting for the final update and kind of what everyone's been waiting for. So um, first off, I wanna thank everyone for watching all the previous videos. Those have absolutely blown up. Um, just crazy how many people have watched it, shared it, uh, all of the crazy different articles written on it and everything like that. So appreciate all the support from everyone. Um, all of us do and we have a absolute load of support in the comment section and lots of people DMing us and stuff like that. So um, a lot of people have reached out to us via DM. I'm sorry if I haven't got back to all of you. There's just been so many uh, and so much going on that I haven't been able to. So many comments to try to filter through everything and it's just impossible to read every comment and uh, kind of get back to it. And also we've been staying a little bit more on the silent side, replying back to anything. But now I can finally kind of start replying back to some of you guys um, and kind of getting back out there and you know getting our opinion out and everything like that. So um, a lot of you guys have actually direct messaged me as well. And there's been a lot of landowners, um, property owners, everything like that, that have reached out, um, business owners um, that basically said, hey, sorry for what happened. If you wanna come hunt our land, we have really good land to hunt. Um, you're more than welcome to come out, uh, come scout around, just call us, get permission, and you're good to go. So um, just so much support from the community. And with us kinda of going through this whole situation, um, hopefully we can kinda of come to a resolution and something like this doesn't really ever have to happen again. Um, and hopefully a lot of people have learned from this as well and I'll kind of get into that as well. But let's get right into the things you guys came for. You guys want a final update, what happened to the guy, everything like that. So finally some charges have been filed. Um, there's been three charges filed against the guy um, and I'm gonna kind of go over each one of those different um, charges and kind of correlate the video to kind of why those charges um, got brought against him in the first place. So, um, and then before we do that, I just want to say a lot of people are like, why are you not pressing charges, blah, blah, blah. We do not directly press charges against a guy. We're not gonna sue the guy, anything like that. Um, we're gonna let the state do what they do. The state charges them on their own. They fight the state everything like that. We don't wanna get in the middle of it. We wanna stay out of it as much as we can. We'll let the state do what they need to, and it already looks like they have been doing what they need to to get this hopefully resolved in all. So obviously these are just charges filed. Um, so that's what they think they can get the guy for. Obviously it doesn't mean he's completely guilty or not guilty. He'll have to fight in court. Um, which play the video here. This is hunter harassment, right? What? You know this is hunter harassment? This is hunter harassment? Yeah. Good for you! Bring it to court! <laughs> They'll take everything you got, out. So, you know, it is what it is. It's, uh, that was one of the best clips from the video. Uh, and I guess all I can say is he pretty much asked for it. So, um, he said, see him there. And I guess that's where he's gonna be, so. Um, kind of a smart aleck to us, which is definitely not a good thing to be doing, um, especially when you have people filming you and, you know, basically gain that evidence, so. So, um, just gonna clear up a few things before we get into the good stuff here. Um, I know a lot of people um, still think we might be on the guy's land, um, stuff like that, and you know, for 100% truth, we don't really know exactly because basically a land surveyor would have to come out. But we did at that time pull up Onyx Hunt, looked at our exact GPS location, 
and it was on the correct side of the property line. So I will play that here as a clip just to show you guys that um, you can see in red to the north was the posted, which was the other guy's land. We were down on the south side and obviously you guys can tell which side we're on. So I'll play that clip right now for you guys. We love some really nice farmers, you know, we go through the work of scouting, asking permission on this field. Well, actually Dustin did, I wasn't up here yet, but uh, we did nothing wrong, and there's nothing wrong with it. Alright, now that we got that squared away, um, and a lot of other comments were, oh, we know the birds weren't in the beans, they were definitely in the corn. So we're going to clear that up right now. We weren't trafficking, we were hunting the X. All these birds were landing in the bean field, which I will show a clip of. Uh, if anything, he was trying to pull the birds further into his cornfield to be able to hunt these birds. Obviously, there's so many birds flying around. They would have worked into both groups just fine. Um, so, you know, it just kind of came to what it came to. And I'm going to put that clip in right now just so you guys can see exactly what we scouted the night before this hunt went down. As you can tell, we were quite a ways from the field. There's no roads actually that go next to the field or butt up to the field or anything like that. You have to drive through a few different fields to get to that field. Um, so that's why, um, you know, for one, he stated that we should have seen him scouting that night. You know, Dustin was parked way down yonder and was looking through the spotting scope and you can just tell he's pretty far away in this instance. So I'll play that video right now. You guys can take a look at it, see how many birds were in here where they were sitting, and everything like that. Yeah, our guide down in North Carolina, he called them with his mouth. All right, now we've got that out of the way, we're going to get into the good stuff. What everyone's been waiting to hear. What has actually been done since this hunt? So, since the hunt, we have given the DNR, the state's attorney, everyone, um, uh, most of all of our GoPro footage, um, everything they asked for, we gave them. Um, we had no questions or anything like that. Regarding so, we know we didn't have anything you know, on here that we didn't want to give up necessarily. Uh, we just dumped all the raw footage directly to them. That's what they asked for, so we gave it to them. Um, they wanted to see the raw footage because apparently they were getting told, supposedly, that we edited out all the stuff that got him to start saying all that stuff, which is a complete lie. Um, we didn't edit anything out. That video was pretty much as raw as it will ever get. And uh, as being 30 minutes long, it was a pretty constant clip. I was recording pretty much any single time he came up to us and started screaming at us. So um, we're going to get right into the charges here. This is what he got charged with. And just so you know, this is all public uh, record information. This is just on the uh, public search uh, North Dakota Courts website, pretty much. You can pull it up right on there. Um, so it's not anything special, you know, regarding so. So I'm going to pull it up on my phone just so I can kind of read it off. So he got a charge with three separate things. Um, all of them were misdemeanors. There's class A and class B. What the difference is, I don't know. Um, but the first one was trading in special influence, which is basically bribery. Um, being that he said that he knew the game warden and he wanted money to be able to call him off is where that charge stems from. Um, he asked for money multiple times, uh, said give me money or I'm calling the game warden, give me money and then I'll stop calling the game warden. All that sorts of thing. So that's where that first uh, charge stemmed from. And I'll play the clips right now that I think kind of correlate to that charge. Tax is on this, I'll let you hunt today. Give me a couple hundred, three hundred dollars though, let you hunt today, I'll fucking drive off. Half the price of your fine, I'll call him off. Do what? 
after the price of the barn, and I'll call him off, and, and I'll, you can hunt here. That's today. all right. Three hundred dollars, and I'll let you hunt here today. We're not on your land. You keep saying it, and the tickets going more. All right, second charge is going to be disorderly conduct and that basically just stems from his actions his words everything like that the whole entire time we were out there um just causing a scene making it so much worse than it ever had to have been so i'll just kind of put a compilation of all the terrible things he said uh into this clip which i pretty much everything at this point pretty much correlated to that uh charge there are touching my corn were they gonna hunt with me? No, they were the Answer ones the that, question. Hey, I'm not a f***ing Democrat, you can dumb I can I said, a... Matt said, is this f***ing Matt's land? No, am I? No, I'm it's not, not and you're it. on it! I'm not on What do you know about this farming I We'd have been mean, friends. I don't mean But now I mean, we're not, because you're f***ing snow-it-all. I'm not on your land. You are touching my f***ing land, do ass. Want, do you want me to move it out two feet? You want to not call a game warden, you shouldn't have shot the ducks. I'm on it my Life. I wasn't planning I on hunting your land. Mother I'm a hunter, not a dickhead. Huh? That's debatable. <laughs> no, am I? No, a, it's not, I, and I, you're I, on it. I was gonna hunt this today. If I didn't have my grandson here today, I'd run your right out of here. So now we're gonna get into the third charge, which is going to be interference with the rights of hunters or trappers. That's the hunter harassment charge. Um, that's the one we knew was more than likely going to be on there, obviously interfering with our hunt, ruining our hunt, everything. So, um, and that specifically was, came from where the part where he drove up in his side by side as we had birds working our spread. He gets out, starts screaming and yelling, oh, blah, 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 the ducks, whatever he says. And the ducks obviously flare away and go away at that time. So it was pretty a direct um cause of scaring those ducks away um there was no other reason he just drove up at the exact same time some ducks started flying into us so i'll play that clip right now you guys can take a look oh i love it <laughs> that's the swing around the soul might do it yeah he's screwing his buddies over too the soul might do it or he's doing it yeah on the left oh flare oh oh of course oh oh Get that video, get that video. Oh, we had ducks coming in, so uh, we had to drive up here. These ones out front could stay low enough. Oh, yeah, I got pictures of everything. <laughs> We're hunting ducks. Like it gets better. This is. It, it is getting better. It's getting, getting better. better for us. Yeah. Sure been easier to get along, wouldn't it? All right, so now that all the charges have been seen, uh, we're going to kind of get into what we learned from this video, what we're going to be doing going forward, and so on and so forth. So if anything we learned from this video is that nobody wins in a situation like this, obviously. And I think everyone can agree with that. Um, nobody, I don't think, really wanted this to happen, especially us. Obviously, we would have much rather just hunted, worked something out. Um, so a few things, if you ever do come across a situation like this, First, try to make something work out. Either see if you can hop in with that party, invite them into your spread, whichever works, hunt in the same spread, or if it's not gonna work out, you guys can't agree something, spread out even more, or whatever, you guys can come to a resolution that's gonna make both parties as happy as possible. Um, and if it does come down to something like this, uh, there's lots of things that you can do, and hopefully you learn from the video. So one thing is definitely, start recording start recording everything that you possibly can so you have evidence that it actually happened um you know if we weren't recording i don't know if honestly anybody would have ever believed us what happened and it could have turned a lot worse on our end if we didn't have the evidence to support basically what happened um so if it does come down to that and it gets to that worst case scenario be calm, be quiet, call the DNR right away, just start recording. Try obviously not to get in their face uh, to make a bigger scene, but if you can, try not to escalate things and stay calm as you possibly can. That is gonna be by far the best route possible. As you can see, this is exactly what we did in this situation. Obviously there's things that we could have definitely done differently or changed, but this is kind of the first time this has really ever happened to me uh, and most of these guys to this extent, especially. Um, so I think 
next time we would maybe change some things, do some things differently. Um, and if you do run into something like this, it's probably just worth packing your stuff up and getting out of there. Obviously, depending on the hunt, you can maybe try sticking around after the game warden shows up and shoot a few. Um, but all in all, it's pretty much going to get ruined and you're going to be stuck with what you got. So basically, there's a lot to uh, take away from this video and all these videos uh, for that matter. So if you guys haven't watched the other videos, go check them out. Um, and again, thanks for everyone for subscribing. That's pretty much going to be everything uh, in this video. I don't know how long or short this video is going to be, but hopefully you guys learned what you guys wanted to learn. Hopefully you guys learned what you guys can do if you do run into this situation and kind of go from there. So hopefully it was a learning experience for all. Hopefully it never happens again. And we're going to get back to hunting and get back to the content of hunting and fishing hopefully and hope you guys want to stick around and watch some of that so thank you guys for subbing thanks for watching and hopefully we can catch you guys on some of the next videos here